It's the 16th of December. I'm 19. It's my 19th birthday today. It's a normal morning. Made sure not to check my phone last night. I don't want to give myself all of that dopamine. I'm not gonna check my phone for at least the next two, three hours because I don't want all that dopamine the first thing in the morning. I'm gonna start off the day with a very cold, cold bath. I love taking cold baths. Cold bath, good music, and then we'll see how the rest of the day goes after that. Um, so now none of my closest friends are in town, so I don't really have any birthday party plans. All I want to do is do things I love. I love painting. It only makes sense for me to come up, paint on a fresh canvas, a little bit of music going on on the side. I'm halfway through the painting. I don't know where I'm going with it, but uh, so far so good. All right, so since I've never done a Q&A on this channel, usually people do Q&As after milestones, and I did think of doing a Q&A after I crossed a thousand subscribers. The idea of doing a Q&A always seemed kind of cringe to me, but all right, we're doing a Q&A today. Posted a story on my Instagram, and I have I have a few questions. I'm gonna try and answer the questions that I find interesting because there are very weird comments on uh, on it as well all right so the first question is it says dream collab friend of mine Aryan Aryan's asked this question I'm not sure if that's a question or he's just commented something on it but my dream collab would be to make a video with either Max Reisinger or Casey Neistat I'd, I'd love it if he'd fly me down to New York City to film a video with him or something that'd be insane or Irfan Janejo, but he lives in Pakistan, so if I could go to Karachi or he could come here and then we could shoot a video together. Of course, none of this is gonna happen in reality. It might happen down the line, you never know, but these are my dream collapse. Now, do you like coding? Question mark. I don't know how to code. A few of my friends study coding at university. One of them is doing computer science. Uh, one of them is doing software engineering. There are two types of leverages in the world. One is permission leverage and the other is permissionless leverage. Permission leverage is like, is capital labor. Someone has to permission capital to you. Someone has to permission money to you. Or someone has to permission their labor services to you. And there's two kinds of permissionless leverages in the world. And those are code and media. Once you solve a problem through code, it's there, it's gonna solve that problem forever. You can create the code yourself and solve the problem. And media. Media is one of these videos. These videos are a form of permissionless leverage. I read about this in the book, Almanac of Naval Ravika. I do think code is very powerful. If you know how to code, you can do whatever you want. I would love to learn coding, but no, I don't know how to code. Um, the next question is, do a meet and greet, please. If I get to like 10,000, 20,000 subscribers, I will definitely dare to organize a meet and greet kind of a thing. I won't, I won't call it a meet and greet. I would love to catch up with some of you guys, just go for a meal together and just have good conversations, make connections. That'd be great. If I try to organize a meet and greet right now, I'm sure no one will turn up except my friends. Not yet. I will definitely do it in the future. Um, are you into Formula One? If yes, who do you support? Yes, I'm into Formula One. I got into Formula One this year. As soon as I went to Australia, I heard about this show called Formula One Drive to Survive. It's on Netflix. I watched the show and I got hooked to the sport. My favorite team is Mercedes AMG. 
and my favorite driver is Lewis Hamilton. I love the guy. I love how he's so humble. He's got seven world championships under his belt. Uh, he didn't deserve what happened to him in Abu Dhabi in 2021. But yeah, Lewis Hamilton and Mercedes AMG. Okay, I'm gonna answer two questions at once. Which video editor do you use? I use Final Cut Pro for all of my editing. Um, I used to use Premiere Pro before, but Premiere Pro is better if you're making more professional films, if you want more freedom with your editing. It's definitely a more powerful software, but since I have a MacBook, it made sense for me to use Final Cut Pro. Plus, Final Cut Pro is a much easier software to use, and it's, it's smooth like butter on a MacBook. Um, it sped up my workflow by quite a lot. Love your vids. Editing tips question mark. All right. Firstly, thank you. Editing tips question mark. Uh, uh, I don't really have any tips in specific, but all I'd say is find a few creators that you like, watch their videos, try copying or take inspiration from those videos. Keep experimenting till you find your own style. After a while, you will figure out the things you like and the things you don't and just stick to the things you like. Time is the best resource you have. So give it time, keep practicing, and you will get better at it, so yeah. Next question that I got was, are you consistent in your diet? Uh, yes, I am. At least for the past month and a half, two months, I've really cut out all processed food, all sugars. I try to eat a high protein diet. I try to eat as clean as possible. Um, and I've been working out regularly as well. I've been working out for like over two years. I used to do calisthenics back in the day and then I moved to Australia and a few friends of mine introduced me to the gym. As soon as I fixed my diet and I started eating clean is when I really saw results, is when I really felt energetic in the gym, I felt fitter, my brain feels less foggy. Eat your greens, uh, eat whatever your mom makes. Um, that's the healthiest food. Now I got two similar questions. So the first question is any meditation experiences in Osho's role in your life? Hey bro, I always wanted to ask what discourses you attended at the Osho Ashram. Now Osho he was a, a spiritual leader almost. I wouldn't call him a spiritual leader, he was a normal man. He came up with a hundred plus meditations of his own. He's got a meditation resort in Pune and my father has been going there since the 1990s and I try to go there at least once every two years with my family. I love Osho. I end every day with uh, a 10 minute discourse of his. Um, I've tried Kundalini meditation, I've tried the dynamic meditation, I've tried the evening meditation, I've tried golden light meditation. I've tried quite a few meditations there in Pune. One thing that I've learned from Osho, one thing that I that I keep close to my heart is the concept of watchfulness. Human beings are meant to just watch. You aren't your body, you aren't your mind, and you're not your heart. There's this watcher inside you. It's almost like a third person. If you want to call it soul, you can call it soul. I don't know what to call it, but that's the watcher. It's the Buddha inside you. So always try to be watchful, watch what you're doing, watch when you talk, watch your mind, watch your thought. You'll forever be in a state of meditation if you just watch. I try to stay as watchful as I can in everyday life. Um, when I'm walking, I try to watch myself walk. I try to watch the thoughts that I have in my head. I try to watch the things that are going on around me. That's when you're really in the moment and you're connected to your inner self. Um, that's what I've taken away from Osho. He's taught me a lot of things. If I sit down, I could make 15 videos about the things I've learned from him. But yeah, this is one very important thing, one key thing that I've taken away from him. And uh, yeah, I think I've covered almost all questions. Cheers to our first q and I've got to get back to the painting now. I came back home uh, and I have a few friends in town and I'm gonna take them out go-karting. Uh, so, so the plan is to basically race. That's what you do at a go-kart track. Yeah, so that's the plan. Just guard you my little brother. Hello. Adil. Yes. Adil, what's happened? Yes. Welcome to the channel. Max, what's happened? 
रिव्यू माइकल हैमिल्टन माइकल हैमिल्टन माइकल हैमिल्टन ओके माइकल गुड कार He had good racing lines and I had none. Life is a landscape. Hello, hello, hello. Come on, come on. To you, happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy.